In the boundless world of aviation, where innovation and efficiency reign supreme, engineers continually seek ways to optimize aircraft performance. One compelling area of exploration centers around the integration of contra-rotating propellers, a technology that has tantalized aircraft designers for over a century. However, their place in modern aircraft design is far from straightforward. Instead of being universally accepted, this innovation has stirred up long debate regarding its efficacy. What precisely is the role that these dual rotor systems play in aircraft design? Is it truly effective or do they fall short of expectations? Prepare yourself as we embark on an exciting journey through the skies and pages of aviation history to unveil the truth behind contra-rotating propellers. To grasp the essence of contra-rotating propellers, we must first turn back the clock to a time when aviation was in its infancy and pioneers were daring to dream beyond the bounds of conventional aircraft design. It was a man named Frederick W. Lanchester who, in 1907, first patented the concept, albeit not initially in the context of aviation. Instead, Lanchester's idea was rooted in the marine world, applied to the propulsion of torpedoes. The concept, however, was not entirely new, as contra-rotating systems had found earlier use in marine environments. But why were contra-rotating propellers conceived in the first place? The answer lies in the relentless pursuit of speed and efficiency. In the early 20th century, as aviation pioneers raced to conquer the skies, they sought ways to maximize thrust and overcome the limitations of single-rotor propellers. Contra-rotating propellers emerged as a promising solution, a means to increase propulsive efficiency and reduce fuel consumption, all while mitigating the challenges posed by torque reaction. The concept of contra-rotating propellers involves the installation of two propellers on a single piston or turboprop engine, one positioned immediately behind the other, rotating in opposite directions on the same axis. This creates a fascinating synchronized motion where one propeller spins clockwise while the other spins counterclockwise. At low speeds during flight, the spinning blades of a propeller generate significant rotational airflow. In a single rotor design, this airflow is often wasted and can lead to stability issues, causing the aircraft to turn left or right depending on the propeller's rotation direction, called torque effect. Thereby, the presence of contra-rotating propellers maximizes the utilization of this airflow, offering high performance and minimal energy loss while countering the torque effect. Now let's address the burning question. Are contra-rotating propellers effective, or do they fall short of expectations? To answer this, we need to evaluate their advantages and disadvantages. One cannot deny the potential advantages that contra-rotating propellers bring to the table. Their most compelling feature lies in their ability to maximize propulsive efficiency, a characteristic that becomes increasingly vital as aviation seeks to reduce carbon emissions and enhance fuel efficiency. By making better use of the airflow passing through the propeller disc, these dual rotor systems hold the promise of reduced fuel consumption, increased range, and longer endurance. As mentioned earlier, these systems eliminate torque reaction, particularly for single-rotor aircraft. By neutralizing the torque effect, contra-rotating propellers enhance lateral stability as well as increasing safety. This is particularly beneficial for single-rotor high-powered airplanes designed for short takeoff and landing maneuvers. In high angle of attack scenarios such as steep climbs, Single rotor propellers often suffer from asymmetric blade loading effects. This can induce yaw, affecting control and stability. Contra-rotating propellers mitigate this problem, 
offering stability in high power climbs, thus expanding their utility in specialized aircraft. However, like any other stories, it's not without flaws. One obvious drawback is their inherent mechanical complexity. Coordinating the rotation of two propellers spinning in opposite directions on the same axis is no small feat. This complexity demands meticulous engineering, which can translate into increased manufacturing costs and introduces the potential for more points of failure, raising concerns about reliability and maintenance. Noise is another major concern. Contra-rotating propellers can produce significantly higher noise levels, which is particularly problematic for commercial aviation. Moreover, the additional components required for contra-rotating systems add mass to the aircraft and can lead to vibrations, which potentially reduce aircraft's overall performance, especially for aircraft designed for agility and maneuverability. So, what role do contra-rotating propellers truly serve in modern aircraft design? Their application is far from universal, but their specific usefulness remains undeniable. They are commonly used in military aircraft such as TU-95, where top performance is a priority, even if it means more noise and higher manufacturing costs. In this scenario, the aircraft's powerful turbines necessitated a solution to avoid excessively large and fast-spinning propellers. Contra-rotating propellers were employed to harness the immense power of the engines while avoiding supersonic blade tips. This design compromise allowed the TU-95 to achieve impressive speeds, making it a remarkable technical achievement in Soviet aviation. In commercial aviation, it's a bit different. The industry's primary focus revolves around factors such as passenger comfort. In this context, contra-rotating propellers, despite their potential benefits, bring challenges in these areas due to their tendency to generate excessive noise. That's why you don't see them often on commercial planes. They are mainly used for specific purposes. In the end, the decision to use contra-rotating propellers depends on the aircraft's unique requirements and goals. While they can enhance efficiency and performance, these benefits come with associated costs. How do you think future aviation can maximize contra-rotating propeller integration while addressing their drawbacks? Leave your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching.